Hello and welcome. My name is Dennis Mystery and I'm the Clinical Product Manager at Interacoustics for the Hearing Aid Fitting Area. Um, today I want to talk to you about uh, the Hearing Aid Fitting Area and what's new. So since we released the Affinity Compact in 2019, there have been some new developments. Um, these are a mix of hardware and software and features, um, but I want to present to you some of the highlights today. So in this presentation I'll talk about the Adapter, I'll discuss Interacoustics Universe, Automatic Fitting, Interacoustics AMTAS, or IA AMTAS, and then I'll also mention and discuss the Coupler Support Kit. Now, as you can see from here, there's a mix of um, hardware options or hardware features and developments, um, some software, and then some also management software as well, which will help you to interface and streamline your software, uh, your suite use um, between NOAA and um, your diagnostic testing. So let's begin with the adapter. Um, this is a new technology, a new hardware that we've got um, to help you to couple um, thin tube uh, hearing aid style uh, devices or receiver in the canal type devices uh, onto the coupler. Um, it's a small, unique silicon piece that attaches onto the HA1 adapter, as you can see in this image here. And um, you can use this with these different hearing aid styles that I've just mentioned. So you can use this for receiver in the canal, uh, thin tube hearing aids, um, and it helps to standardize your acoustic seal. So it helps you to uh, connect this device uh, or these type of devices to the, to the coupler in a more uniform manner, in a more repeatable manner, um, and it removes the need uh, to use acoustic putty or glue tack. Um, this is beneficial from a hygiene perspective as well because you can take this uh, silicon piece away, give it a good wipe, and then place your device in there again for the next patient knowing that it's not going to pass any infection across. Um, secondly, I'd like to move on to the coupler support. And uh, for the coupler support, this is something that will help you to um, connect your hearing aid, but provide further stability to your hearing aid and coupler when you're performing test box measurements. This could either be for hit testing or for RECDs and coupler fitting of hearing aids. Now the holder adjusts to allow you to um, connect different hearing aid sizes and styles um, and you can see that in this presentation there's a, a smaller piece which is used um, for the hearing aid when used in the normal orientation or there's a slightly larger piece to allow you to connect the hearing aid as shown in the picture here so that then you can mount the hearing aid to receive sounds from the back of it. Um, both of these allow for different configurations, so first of all front facing sound orientation which is the same as how the hearing aid will be worn by the patient when using it um, out in the real world. And secondly, there's rear-facing sound orientation, uh, as shown in this image here, and this allows you to perform directionality measurements to understand how sounds are managed by the hearing aid when they're received from behind them or behind the patient. Um, both of these as well help you to test the hearing aid for different situations. Um, in addition to these two different uh, scenarios, the uh, coupler holders have um, a track running down the middle which help you to route programming cables just so that it keeps the workspace nice and clean. And uh, also there are these small um, lugs or uh, projections on here which allow you to um, place the coupler holder into the um, silicon sound absorbing mat of the uh, Affinity Compact test space so that then that, that piece is firmly held in and repeat, allowing repeatability in your measurements. Moving on, we're going to look at the IAM test test now. So this is a new test screen and a new test that we've implemented within the Affinity Compact and the Affinity Suite, and it's only for Affinity Compact. Um, this is an automated audiometry method, and it is patient-led. So it's something that will allow you to perform quick, repeatable audiometry in an automatic manner with the patient interfacing through a touchscreen. The transducers used to acquire the data and to do the testing is uh, the same as what the system has already. And these include um, AC method testing, uh, BC testing using a bone conductor, also allowing mass thresholds and mass uh, stimulations, and in addition to this, speech testing when working in an English language. So it allows you to, to achieve an SRT score and a word recognition score as well. Um, all of this is uh, interfaced through the um, patient monitor, allowing the test to be self-led, um, and it's got nice features that allow you to lock that system should you wish to perform it from the clinician's PC. 
Following the testing, there are nine quality indicators and an overall confidence score um, on completion of the ANTAS test. And this allows you um, an idea to understand how repeatable the, the, the patient was, how, how um, uh, confident, and it gives you an idea of how confident you should be in that data. Once completed, you can transfer that data back into the audiometry test screen, and should you wish to rework some of the points or retest just to check some of the areas that you didn't feel that they were so reliable on, then you can go back and retest or that, that audiogram. We'll next move into automatic fitting. Now this is something that we've done for a long time under the IMC2 protocol, but uh, we just wanted to reiterate and repeat that we are still active in this area. Um, we have solutions we provided with hearing aid providers and hearing aid software um, manufacturers which allow you to do automatic fitting. And just to, to quickly repeat the benefits of doing so, um, there's the speed aspect of this. Uh, automated fitting allows a streamlined process of real ear measurement, making the process fast and even more convenient. So as example, one of our um, uh, partners with automatic fitting allows a binaural uh, hearing aid fitting within six minutes. Um, in addition to this, it's simple, so the hearing aid performance is automatically adjusted to match the targets by the hearing aid fitting software. And this removes the variability of manual adjustments, um, and this also helps you to streamline the process in that you're only looking at one software screen, and it saves that confusion or disparity that you may see between different software areas. Um, I think I've already covered this, but um, it's easier to understand, so I'll just mention that you're only looking at one software, and this removes the need to swap the screens. This is also a more guided process so that the uh, user is a bit more aware of what's happening. Now, we've released automatic fitting for all markets. However, we've seen it to be very beneficial in markets that are already established in REM to make things faster and quicker and more uniform. Um, but we've also found it to be a really nice tool to help introduce uh, hearing aid fitting using real ear measurements uh, into certain markets because it's a more guided workflow and, and um, process. So I'd now like to come into Interacoustics Universe, and uh, for this section of this presentation, this is just a teaser, I do have another presentation later which is more dedicated, looking deeper into this software. Um, we're very pleased to release a new software tool uh, called Interacoustics Universe, and this is a one point of entry for Interacoustics Suites. This helps to streamline your workflow and it allows you to quickly swap between your suites to make your workflow more efficient. Um, here you can see the uh, main Interacoustics Universe um, software screen and this is what's loaded into your system to then operate, launch and to control which patient you're working with so then you can do uh, quick changes within diagnostic tools within your fitting flow or, or even patient flow. If you don't wish to launch this on its own as a standalone, um, you can choose to launch it directly from NOAA, in which it has its own uh, module um, that you can operate it from. So again, it's still the way that this is working is it's managing NOAA, or it's, it's acting as a middle point between NOAA and the suites to allow patient management and also faster management of the different diagnostic tests and data that you're going to be collecting. As a consequence of this, we see this as the central point to your workflow, and um, it's interfacing with many, many different suites other than just the Affinity Suite and the Affinity Compact. So as you see on this screen, you can operate um, Video Otoscope, the Affinity Suite, Diagnostic Suite, which includes um, standalone audiometers or tympanometers that you may wish to control, um, the Titan Suite, so if you want to use the um, tympanometer for tympanometry, impedance bridge measurements, reflex measurements, um, or even going into OAE measurements and AABR or ABRIS measurements, you can do that as well. And then finally, you can also use a dedicated OAE suite as well. So it's, it's a central place to access all your suites so that then the right data can be stored to the correct patient in NOAA. Thank you very much.